Hey guys, back again, and today is another random pickup video, guys. Three systems in this one, so you know, not not too major though. Just one for one, two for another, and the rest is the other. So yeah, but we'll get into that in a minute, guys. Um, so yeah, but one thing I want to just quickly touch on, guys, is right is I've noticed something with eBay and stuff. And it, it's kind of, it's kind of getting me up, you know, it's kind of fucking, it's one of my peeves, guys, it's something pissing me off, right? And that is, um, it's so, certain games, guys, right, when they're worth a lot of money, people still think they're worth a fortune, even when they're scratched to fuck, no manual, no case or anything. And, you know, it really, like, piss you off. And I'll give an example, guys, right? I'm looking to pick up the Resident Evil 2 and 3 for the GameCube, and I normally see them going for around 80, 70, 60 quid, so I'm thinking, you know, I might, might pick them up one day, you know, might, because there's quite a lot of money for a retro game, guys, but anyway, I click on it every single time, it's like, acceptable condition, what, what a fucking idiot thinks, oh, look how scratched the fuck that is, but it's super rare, it's worth 60 quid, so you're telling me then, if I go to a scrapyard and find an Aston Martin's wheel nut, I can charge you people £500 for it because it was a former Aston Martin wheel nut, even though the rest of the fucking car ain't there. You know, it, it, is, a, it is a fucking snotty peeve I've got. It's not like when you look on the internet and you find like a 2009 BMW you've gone for sale. And it's like... Oh, it's got 213,000 miles full service history, seven grand. You know, are you fucking mad? It's been round the clock twice. It's probably going to have the prone fucking oil leak by now. It's going to have fucking all sorts of problems. Every sensor's going to be gone. It's going to be like a fucking Christmas tree in the summer. And they're like, yeah, seven grand. I think there should be a new rule that comes out, guys, where the cars either older than 10 years old, or has more than 150,000 miles in it, then it shouldn't be sold no more than seven grand. Uh, it, you know, no, 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 I got that wrong. I got that wrong. I fucked myself over there, guys. See that? See? No, 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 no. What I mean is, if the car's like a year old, but it's got 150,000 miles on it, it can't be no more than seven grand. If the car is like 10 years old, then it shouldn't be worth no more than like a grand. And then, it, then if people, well, it's not worth selling it then, but then don't buy it then. Then that for you, you know, you shouldn't sell it. Because, you know, at the end of the day, if you've got 150,000 freaking miles in the car, you've definitely had your money's worth out of it. But, you know, that's my opinion. Anyway, guys, sorry about that little bit of rant to start it off with, but it is just stupid. I mean, I've seen games going for a fucking stupid price, and you look at it, and they're like, it's in acceptable condition. It's got no manual, it's got no thing. The disc is fairly scratched, but tested and working. You think, I don't want to pay fucking full price for that. You fucking numb can poop. You know, you meant to fucking sell it cheaper when it's like that. I would. It's fucking stupid. I sold my rival, um, PlayStation 1 rival schools cheaper because I didn't like the game. I thought it was boring. I sold it for 20 quid, guys. That's a 50 quid game. So, you know. Anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get into this. So, first pickup, guys, is a 3DS game. And that's Art Academy. Um, quite fun games, to be honest. Well, we liked them anyway, so had to pick it up. We're going to pick up the Disney version of this as well, which, will, will, you know, could be a lot of fun, but this game is only like three quid from Music Magpie. So yeah, as you can see, like you said, you draw from that to that to that to that. In my eyes, it'll be from that to that, back to that, back to that, and you give up. <laughs> there we go. But it's still a really good game, guys. So yeah, Art Academy. Next pickup, guys, is Mario and Sonic at the Rio Olympics. I picked up the other Rio Olympics game for this and then realised there's actually a newer one out. Now, see, guys, this game, right, could be worth a, a bit of money because Mario and Sonic hold its money and Nintendo do. But the guy said it's got a little bit of water damage here and it has on the back as well, so I'll just show that, guys. Uh, down here. He shoot them in the pictures and he said he wanted £4 for it. £4. So I was like, that's... More than reasonable. You know, there is some people out there that do understand that, you know, they're not worth a million pounds still when they're that fucking damaged. I mean, that's what's wrong with that. It's a little bit of water damage, and he, he deducted the price. This game, guys, right? Brand new and sealed. GameCube. Burnout 2. I love Burnout 2, guys. Now, check this out, right? You're probably thinking, oh, you got it brand new. That's going to be worth, you know, you must have paid a pretty penny for that. Nope. 
I got this version, guys, in brand new, cheaper than I bought it when I could have got it second hand. I got this game for £20, guys, and I could get it second hand for about 18 26 I was like, oh, it's a no-brainer. Get it brand new and sealed. You know, I probably won't be keeping it brand new and sealed. I probably will open it because, you know, I want to actually play it. But, yeah. So, yeah. Burnout 2, guys. Moving on. Now, these are all PlayStation 2 games, guys. But, you know, they're still really good ones, in my opinion. That's why I picked them up. Dead or Alive 2. Absolutely love this game. I'm not a fan of it, the Platinum hits. But when you get it from Music Magpie, it's hit and miss. You don't know what you're going to get. But the games are all excellently reconfurbished and, like, new. So, uh, you can't. I can't complain about that, guys. So they've all got the manuals as well, and all of that, but, you know, I don't think anyone was a fan of, I mean, people moaned in America, and people moaned here about the, um, well, we didn't really get, like a, like, a greatest hits version of our PlayStation 3 games, we just got them, just go down in price, and then we had, like, the, I think it was, like, a essentials collection we had eventually, but mainly, we just got them go down in price, but America moans about the uh, red cases, well, look how bad that looks, that is horrible. Absolutely horrible. No, no, no. But anyway, moving on, guys. Next game is Soul Calibur 2. Love Soul Calibur. I think they're really good games. And they're really quirky and different to other fighting games. Because you've got a lot more combat styles in these. You know, you've got to actually use your brain and look out for the weapon that you're against. Because certain weapons hit harder damage than others. Like, I even found when I was fighting against that guy, Nightmare. He'd hit, like, two times and your health would be halfway down. Whereas, like, certain other characters with a smaller knife and that lot wouldn't do so much damage. But... Still, really, really cool. And another thing about these games is when they were released on every platform, they had different characters. Like, this one had Hiroshima from Tekken. And then I believe Xbox got Spawn. And I think that was it. Because GameCube... Were, was GameCube... Yeah, GameCube is... GameCube did have this. They got Lynx. So, that's really cool. Okay, moving on, guys. Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Awesome game. Just spent 20 minutes trying to get some little marks off it. Because they're not scratches, guys, right? What it looks like is it looks like it's had water droplets go onto the disc. And they've dried in. And all of that. So, yeah, it took me about 25 minutes to get them off. And now the disc is, like, brand new again. But still, that was a the right ass to get off. But, yeah. So, I'm not going to lie, guys. More Combat Armageddon um, had, it had the bones to be the best uh, Mortal Kombat game out there. But... It was done with the right idea, but it was kind of rushed at the same time. Also, though, you have to think, with the amount of character roster in this game, they couldn't, you know, I think they should have gone with one decent fatality each for each character, but they didn't. They did a system where it was like punch, kick, down, up, left, right, R1, da, da, da. And, yeah, that weren't the best. But the character roster in this game is phenomenal. I mean, literally, there is so many characters in this game. It reminds me of Mortal Kombat Trilogy on PlayStation 1. You've got every character you can ever think of in this game. It even says it right here, guys. Look, fight with, fight as many as over sixty plus characters. Absolutely amazing. Okay, moving on, guys. Picked. Uh, I got these games. I got these ones. I'm now showing. I don't think they're in order. Hopefully they're in order, guys. But if they are, then these games came as a bundle of three. And check this out, right? The bid was. Um, then the bid was like three quid to to bid, and then three pound fifty to buy them now. So I was like, well. That's a little bit stupid. I mean, I'll pay 50p more than what I'm going to bid, and I'll buy them. So I bought them, guys, and I thought, you know, they're going to be pretty scratched up for that price. But no, they're actually, like, new guys. They've got not even, a, not even a fingerprint on them. So maybe the person just didn't want them or something. I don't know, but I'd have never played these games in my life, guys. So I have no idea what these are like. But, you know, really, really cool. Well, actually, I say that, but I've played one of these games. But no, I haven't. I haven't. I played a different one. So yeah, this one, guys, Soakum Two. I thought I played this one. I haven't. I played. I think it was Soakum. And then no, it wasn't. I'm wrong again, guys. It was Ghost Recon. Uh, Jungle, Jungle, Ghost Jungle. So that's completely different games than me altogether. Soakum. Awesome game though. I can guarantee because I think these games were really hit in their day, but today, I don't know, but, you know, we don't actually see any soak them game anymore, but if they did, guys, it wouldn't be enough to be here right home about, because you can guarantee the developers would be like, it's all online, guaranteed online, you need everything online, crate boxes, loot boxes, all this fucking shit, here's the third game it came with, guys, so, Vinette, what's that, I can't, I can't even say that word, guys, 
Voyakong, Voyakong, what the fuck is that? That I'm not even gonna try, guys. I'm not even gonna try. I, I, you, you know, I mean, I'm. I put my reading ability at about a seven, and I can't even read that bloody word. Viet Cong, purple haze. Wow, purple haze. Isn't that a bloody drug? <laughs> I have no idea, guys. Right, anyway. Pretty decent. Looks pretty fun. See, the thing about PlayStation Two, guys, they and and, and original Xbox, they brought out loads of these style of games, and a lot of people, you know, they either like them or they hate them. But I love them. I thought it was really good. You know, they're really, really good games and a lot of fun. Um, Mark Eckert's getting up. I have not played this game, guys, but the reason I bought it was I watched the gameplay of someone else playing it, and I thought, wow, that looks a lot of fun. That actually looks fun. So I'm going to give it a go and cannot wait. Looks really, really different. It's not your graffiti artist, but at the same time, you go around fighting people and stuff. So it's a bit like Streets of Rage meets a graffiti artist. So on, so forth. That's what I, what I gathered from it anyway, so don't take my word for it, because I don't know, I haven't played it, guys, but it looks amazing. So I'm looking forward to playing that one. A bit more with it today, guys. You might be able to tell with the way I'm able to, you know, talk a bit more fluent. Like, blah, 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 you know what I mean? I'm a bit more with it, so that's really, really good. Plus a lot of the stresses at the minute that was around my neck is kind of, you know, a bit more at bay, so yeah, cool. Next game, guys, Mission Impossible. I got this game right for 75p. 75p, guys, and I've never played it. So I thought, well, 75p, you can't go wrong for 75p. And it's complete. It's got manual. It's got a few hairline marks on this one. It's just a few scratches. They're literally a hairline, hairline. But we are actually getting one of them JFJK Pro blah, 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 blah thing with Jig soon. So they'll just come straight out with a buff. or won't even have to use the sand in this just to buff, and they'll come out. Next game, guys. Hurdy Gurdy. Who remembers Hurdy Gurdy, guys? This game was a really fun game when it came out, but unfortunately, it doesn't really get much, you know, attention nowadays. You know, much like it was a hidden gem disappeared. I think it was a really good game back in this day. Especially great graphics for the day, because this, I don't think nothing better in this day. You know, it was really cartoony, no like pop ups and that, and it was really, really good in this day. It's still really good now, actually, but you know, I've never beat the game. I've never beat this game, guys, so it could be fun to try and do. Next game, guys, Raceway, Dragonstock. This one is missing its manual, unfortunately, but, you know, that don't bother me. Um, the only ones I'm trying to collect every game with manual is the GameCube at the moment, but Pressure 2, they're, 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 you know, their games are really weird at the moment, guys. I want to actually mention that before I tell you anything about this game, right? I've noticed that you can pick up games on their own like this and pay 70p, 99p, £1.50. Soon as someone bundles a bundle together, though, guys, right? Because I've bought a few bundles and they're on their way. They haven't arrived yet. When they do, I'll do a, a showing of them as well if everyone's interested. But basically, they go for like 100, 130, 150. And there's like 60, 70 games in each bundle sometimes. And, you know, I didn't pay that for mine, guys. I, I, I you know, I dipped out of the ones that were going that price. I thought, no, bugger that, I'm not bidding anymore. Uh, the ones I got, guys, I did pay a fair whack. I've paid 124 for one and £80 for the other. So, you know, we'll have to wait and see when they arrive, guys. But, you know, they were, you know, pretty, pretty good bunch of games in there. So we'll see when they come. Raceway Dragon Stock Racing. So, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I've, I've never played that game either, guys. On to the next game, guys. And it is TT Superbikes. Now, this game was really good back in its day. I, I remember getting this. It was quite hard to find as well. Well, it was where I was from, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm from a small little town, and that was quite hard to get this at your local blockbusters or wherever. You know, we didn't go very far to look for games and that lot. We didn't have the internet at the time either. So, you know. But, yeah, look. Not bad, guys. Not bad. And obviously now the Isle of Man TT game on... Place for four blitzes this, but back in the day, man, you know, we didn't have an Isle of Man TT game. This was one of the first ones with proper graphics and that. That was really, really good. Obviously, the PC probably had one of its own, but, you know, I'm not talking PC. I'm talking home console. Last game, guys, is Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, and uh, I love this game. Absolutely love it. I'm really a bit annoyed that, you know, Ed Boon hadn't thought about bringing out another Shaolin Monks, just a spin-off to go with Mortal Kombat, because these were great. You could add more characters today, I would imagine, and do a lot more storylines through it and make like a Streets of Rage game. I think that would be absolutely awesome. 
And, you know, the possibilities are endless today. You could do all sorts with it, really, if he did it. Or even bring out the HD remaster of this and add some few shit of extras. But, yeah, there we go. But, anyway, guys, this is today's pickup, guys. They came in pretty good condition. Like I said, they're all pretty much mint, apart from uh, Mission Impossible and the Street Stock Race one here. That's Business Manual, and the other one is a bit scratched. So, that's pretty much that. But, you know, nothing to, nothing to write you home about. Um... Like I said, though, guys, yeah, just touch on the subject again. I mean, I just don't understand it, guys. Like, you know, I know Shaolin Monks is a pretty good game, you know, and I know, I know but if I sold that tomorrow, and I say the popularity went up, I wouldn't sit there and go, oh, yeah, 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 mine's like mint, you know, just out of the wrapper, five grand. People have got to learn that, you know, just because you've got a hidden gem game, sell it on the condition it looks at. Don't go, because I mean, a lot of people can go, and, and I've doctored the price due to the condition. You think, what, 60 quid? But I can get it in new and wrapper for 110. Now, people might go, that's half price. Yeah, but that's what you'd expect for an open game, like very good condition, like 70, 80 quid, 60, 70 quid. You wouldn't expect to pay 60 quid for it with no manual and the disc's in acceptable condition. You know, you don't go down the road do and go, look at that, mate. I spent half a million on a Lamborghini. It's got no engine, no tyres, scratched the fuck. But I only paid half a million. But if I'd have paid 750,000, which is only 250,000 more, I could have had a running and fairly up in the year one. You know, you'd look a decade. And I don't think many people would even give it yard room. But then again, maybe there is some people out there that are stupid enough to do it, but I'm not. I will not pay 60 quid for a game that's an acceptable condition. Where I'm, I'd rather pay the 120 guys and get it brand new than, 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 than do that. Because in my opinion, I've got the game that actually works. I've been... You didn't save any money if you paid 60 quid. Get it in acceptable condition and find out that it's one scratch away from death, or if not already there. So, you know, it's just stupid, guys, the way that they, these, some of these people think, I've got a national treasure here. It's been dumped in shit, dropped in the bar, chucked in the toilet. My kids played frisbee with it for a fortnight, and now I'm going to sell it for 59 99 Fucking hell. I don't know, guys. I really don't. But it's just fucking stupid at the end of the day, in my opinion. But there we go, guys. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it there. I'm sorry I made it a little bit long. But, you know, I, I, I am just trying to show what I've picked it up and that, guys. And um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplays I put up last night. Uh, I might do some more today. I have no idea yet, guys. I just do it in the spare of the moment when I feel like doing it. Like I said, it is a hobby. And I do it for fun. If I'm not in the mood to do it, then I just don't do it, guys. But, you know, hopefully you guys are all enjoying the content. Uh, no, it's not exactly fantastic and brilliant at the moment, but, you know, over time, hopefully it'll be able to get a lot, lot better, and I'll be able to get a steady income of coming, like, you know, of, of products I can buy and show guys and unbox, like, I'm not just going to be doing games all the time, it will be other things as well, um, it's just at the minute we haven't got around to sorting out or doing anything at this moment, guys, so in the meantime, though, guys, thanks for subscribing, thanks for staying with me, hopefully you enjoy this video, and I'll see you all in the next one, guys, thanks for watching.